Yo, what's up guys? It's Bev from Artifact. This is part four, the setting up your clone filter to actually do things, right? Right now you have it, it's kind of like a helmet. It is technically a working clone filter on IG, on Spark AR, right? But it doesn't really do things and this is what we're gonna solve, right? So we're gonna make it so expressions can happen like this. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is the blend shapes. We can see blend shapes but clicking on the head and then going to actually opening up that head section. If, if you don't have head, it's probably called whatever you name the file. And, and then you're gonna have all the blend shapes. So I recommend after the blend shapes video previous to this one, that you go with these blend shapes. These are the blend shapes I recommend you use. It, it's the ones that work for me so far, but you can always change it. You can always adjust it. You can do what you think is best to get the best clone filter uh, for your character, right? So uh, play with these a little bit, but these are the ones I ended up going with for this example. And we're gonna go look at these, how these interact with this model right now. So if I go view, we're gonna need the patch editor. That's this first option and view asset summary. So asset summary will tell us the file size of our entire file. So we're below four megabytes. So this is good. This is actually working. Right, so this can be published as is and we're under four megabytes, so it'll work. Awesome, it's a working clone filter. If we go to patch editor, you can see what I did. I'm gonna start from scratch with you guys. This file right here, yours is gonna be blank. Yours is gonna look like this, so I'm gonna actually delete mine and you can work with me. So if I grab face tracker and drag it in here, you're gonna get something that looks kind of like this. It might not be all over the place like mine, it might be a little more organized. And then we're gonna drag and drop. I'm gonna move my head real quick a file that you're gonna download from this video because it's just gonna save you a ton of time. It's gonna be called clone expressions. And you're gonna just drag and drop that into this section of the screen over here. And you'll see it pops up down here called clone expressions under patches. And if I throw this into the patch editor here, you're gonna get an error, that's fine. All we're gonna do is go face and plug it in. The error is because it's missing the plugin. It's not plugged into anything. So now by plugging it in, you have proper face tracking with uh, with the clone expressions patch that I'm giving out to you guys for free. Don't even worry about it, right? So what does this do? Well, I'll show you real quick and then I'll tell you why you don't really need to know that. If I go and convert this to a patch group by right clicking and convert to patch group, I can now open this up and you can see all the things I'm doing, all the things that this patch has for you. So this is a very large patch full of different um, formulas, we'll call them, that allow adjustments to blend shapes to occur on the model. But instead of having to learn how to do all these, you just install the patch, plug it in, and then just follow what the guidelines kind of are, right? So I have it broken down like this, where it's left eyebrow, right eyebrow, um, smiles, uh, one is just smile, Chin left, chin right, mouth open, left and right blinking and eye rotation. So what does that mean to you? Well, actually it's much easier than you probably think. What we need to do is we need to go to eyes, eye left, eye right, head. We go to head first and then eyes. So head, and these are our blend shapes. We need to activate all of these. We just turn all of these on. And if I turn all of these on, you're gonna see it shows up over here. So I have mouth upper right, mouth upper left. Mouth smile right, mouth smile left, jaw open, interesting, jaw right, and jaw left, and let's see what's this one, I look up right, I blink right, I look up left, I blink left, and jaw left, and jaw open. So these are the ones that I picked, I think they work pretty well. Um, but you can mess with them however you see fit because the way this program, this patch works is you can combine as many things as you want to, which is really, really nice. So like left eyebrow, we plug this into left or I look up left and right eyebrow, we plug this into I look up right. So now when the facial expression does things that adjust the eyebrows, it'll, it will see it adjust. Let me try and open this up a little bit better for you. Come on, move your eyebrows. Maybe someone else is moving their eyebrows a little better. You moving your eyebrows? There we go, a little bit. Anyway, we'll keep we'll keep moving on, and then if you see it, you see it. So now mouth upper left. So we can try plug that into mouth smile. And mouth right. We'll see if that does it. So now when the mouth moves a little bit, I'm gonna go back into the, this guy. 
So, I mean, it, it's doing it, but it's not exactly doing what you want yet because we didn't plug everything else in yet. But we also have Mount Smile left and Smile right, so that might be better. But this is an example of how you can combine things. So if I go left Mount Smile into Mount Smile left and right Mount Smile into Mount Smile right, you get something that's a little more like a cheeky smile. Okay, so yeah. And then we'll do some other stuff. We'll do chin left, which is jaw. Chin right, which is jaw. And mouth open, which is jaw open. So now if the character or the person opens their mouth, there we go. We get some mouth movement. Awesome. And left eye blink and right eye blink. And now let's see. We get some eye movements. Okay, there we go. We got some eye movements. We got some mouth movements. We got some blinking. We got some smiling. We, we don't have mouth upper left plugged in. So maybe we'll try. What if we don't go. What if we unplug the smiles? We'll try to plug that into the smile formula I've created here. Just so smile smiles evenly. Maybe we'll go mouth upper left with here. Okay, that's all right. It's a little baby face, but it's it's it, it kind of works. It kind of works. All right, so this is another possibility of what you can play with, of combining different things and using using this patch to kind of create the personality of your clone, kind of depending on how you combine the blend shapes. Because you can combine as many blend shapes as you can fit into this patch. Right, you could plug you could plug everything into one thing, and it would technically work. And it's just going to use that part of the tracking, right? And then I'm just going to continue on so this video isn't too long. Eye rotation. So the only thing uh, it, that's different is the eyes are not in the head. So we need to go and select the eyes, wherever your eyes are named or located. And when we click on it, we want the one inside of the, the parent. And we want rotation. And we want to go to the other eye and grab rotation. So this is eye right and this is eye left. And eyes are actually, I would consider them optional too, because the eyes don't necessarily need to offset from the character. I mean, it does look better in some scenarios, but it doesn't necessarily need to. Like, if you look at th this model here, the eyes just being perfectly centered is, is still a lot of expression because of the rest of the face. So if you kind of just want it to be like this, you can keep it like this. You don't have to do eye tracking. Because eye tracking on Spark AR is not as good, but it, it's uh, it works. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. If we go left eye rotation, plug this in, and right eye rotation, plug this in, it's gonna have eye tracking. It does. It has eye tracking. It's just not the most amazing eye tracking, but it does work. I kind of don't like the upper left. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of it. Let's go with the regular smile. All you would do is now you have the patch. You apply the patch. You throw it in here. You connect it and then you start messing with the blend shapes that you chose and plug them into these different parameters I have set up for you. And now you can kind of build your own clones personality based on what what blend shapes you pick and combine. The problem with that, which isn't really a problem, it's just time consuming, is going back and editing the file and putting blend shapes you want to keep in there and exporting it out and then reapplying all the textures because you have to do that every single time until you get the look that you're going for. But once you get in that routine, it's not really that hard. It's just kind of repeating video three and video four, this one, over and over and over until you get exactly what you're looking for for your clone for your filters expression, right? So that's pretty much the, it for this video. There isn't too much else download the clone expressions patch in this video, throw it in the patch editor and the patch viewer right here, and then attach the blend shapes you want to it to make that filter effect that you're looking for. And then when you're done, all you're going to do is go up here and go file and go publish. And that's it. You just follow the steps required to publish it and it's going to publish and it's going to upload to your Instagram and then you can test it out on your phone and you can make, you make stories with it. You can share it with your friends. That's really all it is. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys can now go and build a dope clone filter for your Instagram. Now we have Instagram and we have Snapchat down, right? We're taking over. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Next video, we'll build a clone off of a template. All right, guys.